Hey YouTube, Camper Van Kevin here. Well, it's time to leave Bisbee. Miss Mary here and her family have been gracious hosts. I've had quite an extraordinary view with the mountains behind me. Met a lot of neighbors on her street. Everybody here is just so nice. But uh, I've been here long enough and I got plans to go elsewhere. So uh, getting the RV packed up, getting the tracker hooked up, we're out of here. I've had a lot of people comment about the hitch angle on the tracker. The tracker's around the corner here. And uh, yeah, everybody's exactly right. Uh, it does have two forward of a, of a tilt. Probably good for towing, but if I was to get hit in the rear end, probably throw it off pretty uh, easily. And the reason that I don't flip this mount is because of this rack here. Because if I flipped it, it wouldn't fit. Um, so I guess I need to buy one that's more straight out, get this ball up a little bit. <clears throat> and also after the last video, somebody said that these were not clevis hooks. That's what, that's what I've always called them. And that's what it said on the package. But um, you know, we were talking about crossing your chains and uh, putting these on. And on the video, I installed them like this because I kept having them knocked off when they were chains were wrapped around themselves. And uh, after the video, I saw my mistake. If you put your chains on like this, it makes it much more difficult to knock off. And uh, yes, I'm aware that you can twist your chains to take up the slack so it doesn't ride so low. Okay, let me get this tracker hooked up and we'll get on Morning, down Morning, Tucker. Hey, baby May May. Hey, are we finally getting to leave today? Yes, sir, we are. I kind of like it here, but I'm ready to hit the road. Morning, baby May May. Hey, Daddy. I, are, are we going to go now? Yeah, yeah, it's time to go. You know, it's kind of hard to stay in one place uh, over three or four days for me. Yeah, I know. We, we, we're like a rolling stone. You seen your sister? She's in there sleeping. Golly. She's not much for the camera, is she? I love the camera. It's my best friend. Hey, I thought I was your best friend. Well, you know what I mean. Okay. Let's get this uh, tracker hooked up. Sure am enjoying the little tracker. Of course, I hadn't got hot yet. With, that, with no air conditioning, but I don't plan to be anywhere where it's hot. The baby's sitting there looking at me. Don't leave us. Don't leave us. Bisbee's a nice town. It says it has the best weather in the United States. I can believe it. It's been kind of pleasant here for sure. You know, this is not exactly the easiest thing to do, one person. Nice having help doing it, but it just takes a little bit longer. Just got to get it lined up best you can. So I line it up the best I can. Then I put the bar on. And then I pull it to the hitch best I can. Okay. Now I got the hitch pins in. And I have to turn around here and see how close I am to lining it up. So I'm a little bit right. So I'll go back to the tracker. Turn my wheel a little bit left. And hope I have the right distance to make it for the angle. And that's how it's done, son. One hand. So, <clears throat> so 
so people have asked me how this works so that's the one reason I'm showing this so yeah the angle is wrong so even if I were to bring it up a couple more inches it helped greatly after that I'd have to go to a welder and have this modified a little bit and like I said I did it wrong on my video I still got to check the so it doesn't drag so I got to twist my chains so I got that chain twisted and got it off the got a little bit more off the ground but I'm gonna address this very very soon gosh I have like 12 of these at RV base camp kind of seems a shame to have to buy one that's the way it works now I've got the other chain attached hook up my wiring and like I said the reason people cross their chains is if this comes off the hitch supposedly this will go in and cradle on top of the X hopefully hook up my wiring okay cut middle cut little miss blue off open the hood the hood latches inside the dash okay you leave the key in turn forward and I have a spare key just for that so ignitions on and with a five-speed manual the owner's manual says to put it in second gear and then you put the transfer case in neutral right now it's in too high so go all the way to the top that's four low one back check it again one back so that's transfer case in neutral five speed in second gear ignition on but uh, as you see all my lights are on well the radio works and everything if it's, if it's a short tow it won't hurt anything but a, a tow like over an hour or two you need to disconnect the battery that's what I'm fixing to do now this is something I learned uh, with the uh, Furrier uh, tire and automotive I was disconnecting the positive every time and my friend Paul up there he says no don't do that he says you'll spark and short out your little computer in here he says always disconnect the ground I didn't know that maybe you guys knew that and didn't uh, a new battery there but uh, we want to save that computer we don't want it going bad and uh, Whoever wired this up last time, that's how they did it. So that's how I'm going to do it. Of course, you got to check the distance on those as well on your uh, your wiring. Are we ready to go yet? Almost tuck. Sound, you sounded kind of hoarse today. You sounded kind of hoarse. Shush. <laughs> Can't forget my my tri leveler here. I like to drive over the front of it instead of backing up. I should have got that first before I hooked up the tracker. You cannot back up with a toad. I have tried, not even a little bit. Fifty-one thousand seven hundred ninety-eight miles. There's that martini. How you doing, martini? I'm good. My brother's being a fool. Yeah, you got that right, old camera hound. He's half Yorkshire Terrier, half camera hound. Man, don't talk about me on camera. Making fun of my lineage. Oh. Listen to that Flowmaster and V10 roar. Roar, Tuck. Roar. Man, it sounds awesome. It sounds like our house is a race car. Well, I know, right? Oh, I've got my laundry to do. 
Tucker, I can't cut off the camera. Ow, you bit me. Another thing I always do is I check my lights. I turn on my headlights, put on my blinker, and make sure that the tow vehicle, Miss Blue, her lights are working. The lights on. These lights come on. One thing I just about have to do daily when I'm towing is clean off these lenses. They're not too terrible. They're a little bit dim, but once I start moving, moving around and the hitch on this ball will make a better ground and they brighten up. Happened over and over. But I sure am enjoying this blue. I'm enjoying my BT Cruiser as well. Hush, baby, May Mays. I gotta go say bye to Miss Mary. Well, you tell her bye for me. I will. That was sweet, May May, be thinking of other people. I'm, I'm like that. Yeah, I know. That's why you're my baby. I'm gonna go say bye to Peter Rabbit here. Mr. Rabbit, Mr. Peter, I hope the wolf pack didn't scare you too bad the other day. They were just excited. Tucker thought you were a strange looking cat. Do you let people pet you? Oh yeah, you're a sweet rabbit, huh? Yeah, what well, a sweet rabbit, yeah. We'll see you later. Well, Wolfpack, I said good, said my goodbyes. Always hard leaving new friends I make. But that's part of living on the road. So I'm just now entering Sierra Vista. Never have come in from this way. And I just passed Car Canyon, the place that had the gate up on me. I don't like having unfinished business. I want to go to the top of Car Canyon and see what's up there. So I'm going to find me a place to boondock here in town and buy some groceries and take care of some business, mail off some stickers. Get my stuff handled. So I'm at the Sierra Vista Walmart. This fool right here about runs me over. I get a Reese hitch. He almost hit that car. He almost hit me. There's my RV down there. So I got a new hitch. Let's get this, the tracker tow bar elevation fixed. Came back in here with the tracker. Let me show you why I went with the hitch that I went with. Like I said, it pains me to have to buy one of these because I know I got over a dozen at the house. Not, I never had one with a triple, but they're all a variation of this. But the reason I went with this hitch was because it didn't have any kind of bar like this on it. That would interfere. Um, didn't have a. That would interfere with my gate. So that's been the problem all along. And the two-inch ball is this one here. So that's going to raise me up several inches here. This thing was 50 bucks, but uh, straight one was 20. And I didn't know if I'd get this ball off or not, so figure I couldn't. 30, and then I don't have my pipe wrench with me to take it off, so that'd be another 10 to 15. So I just went ahead and got a got one all together. Probably didn't cost me that much more. Okay, the tracker's still in neutral, but I'm on really flat ground here. Let's see if I pop it loose. And roll it back. See, it does catch in those chains right there. I'll take this off next. Okay, I got the hitch out. Let me show you why I couldn't reverse it. I can't get far enough. Well, how about that? It does fit. Huh. All right.
right there. I guess I'm gonna take that back. Just get a wrench and flip it. I won't be able to let this down unless I take that out, but that's okay. Set up really level there. Yeah, if I can buy me a couple wrenches cheaper than I can buy that $50 hitch right there. And that levels me out pretty good. Now I just gotta get something to get that ball off. Okay. Well, I'm back out here at my hitch. I took the other uh, receiver back and got my money back, $53. Bought a $5.20 wrench. So, let's see if I can get it loose and see if I could, if I saved all that money. Well, that just goes to show that nothing's easy. You can't break it loose. Uh, life is funny. I have to go back in and buy that three ball again. We'll see what I'll come up with. My third trip. Okay, well they had this one in there. It's got the ball on it. The Reese. Hitch attachment. And a connecting pin. $20, $21. But I want to turn this, this one over. So hopefully I'll be able to get this loose. You, you gotta work. be freaking kidding me. <sighs> I can't get it in far enough to get the pin in. Good grief. Well, after three, four trips into Walmart, broken wrench, getting the wrong size, taking stuff back, I just called a welding shop. <laughs> See if I could use their vice. Flip this ball over on what I got. You know, it's the little stuff like this that eats up your days. It's not always easy out here. This isn't a huge problem. But there's always something like this going on. If you don't have the stomach for it, you shouldn't be out here. Everybody says, oh, you're glamorizing the RE life. Well, it is a good life. It's a different life. But you have a whole different set of problems. Let me get back to driving. Okay, well, we're there. Hitching post iron. Some of the worst shutter bumps I have ever seen in my life. Thought the front end was going to come out from under this RV. Hitching post iron. Steel fabrication and welding repair. Got to get back in the back. It's going to flip it for me. How about that? Spider Man welding mask. $209. $210. Quite a nice shop. I may ask them about putting. We'll do some other welding I may need. Boy, they fought, knocked, beat. Just got to get the torch out to get it loose. I'd have never got it. You know what? I think his name is Albert. I'm panning again too quickly. Panning slowly, panning slowly. He wouldn't charge me a dime. Refused any of my money. Refused it. Would not take it. Acted insulted. I kept on. So I thanked him again. Huh. Now she's riding level, or closer to it. I'm gonna live with that. That'll work. Good enough. She'll just come here in the first place. I meet the nicest people. Hitching Post, Iron, Sierra Vista, Arizona. Treated me right. He's going to come out here, and I'm going to talk to him about putting a roof rack on here, building me something custom. Now I know I can trust the guy. I like to put a rooftop tent on this thing. Make it like an overlander. Take the back seat out, put it in a refrigerator and some cabinets. Maybe I'll just tour in this thing. It's an idea I've been working on now for quite a while, but I hadn't talked about it on my channel. This may be 
everything. All right. Well, I've left the welding shop. And I kind of told you what I was thinking about doing with the tracker. Haven't decided for sure. I'm going to talk to the fabricator some more tomorrow. Something I've been kind of thinking about for quite some time. Never know. But uh, found a laundromat. I'm going to take care of all my dirty clothes. And while I was in traffic driving over here, I was at a red light. This fellow come running up beside me. He says, Kevin, Kevin, Kevin. So pulled over. Turns out he watches all the RV YouTube channels. He told me about all the rigs, everybody's rigs for the last five years. Real nice guy. His name is John. Drives a little white Toyota truck with a camper shell on it. And uh, he says, Kevin, he says, you want a safe place to camp tonight? You can camp in my yard. I got an acre. Come stay with me. I think I'm going to take him up on it. But I got to end this little video somewhere. So now it's as good a place as any. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Play. 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 We'll see you again.